Cole Palmer has made history for being the first player to score four goals in the first half of a Premier League game. This is a ridiculous feat, and even more impressive that the four goals minus the penalty were all brilliant. As incredible as this performance was against previously undefeated Brighton, it looks like this is the tip of the iceberg for Palmer. And this is what makes him and Chelsea FC scary. It finally looks like Chelsea are finally getting their revenge on Manchester City, who signed Kevin De Bruyne from right under their noses and who turned out to be a superstar for the treble winners. Chelsea's coach praised Cole Palmer after his incredible four-goal display against Brighton and has passed comments that seem like a disguised attempt to criticise another Chelsea player, Noni Madueke. Enzo Maresca said, the important thing today in football, young players change very quickly. They score one goal and they think they're already at the top, but Cole has not changed after many goals and assists. Is there a coming clash in the Chelsea team? We'll address this in our coming video. Palmer scoring four goals against Brighton wouldn't be the first time he'd score four goals against a sorry Premier League opposition. The first time he did it was against Everton at Stamford Bridge when he scored across the two halves in a thrilling 6-0 demolition of Everton in the 23-24 season. Palmer was spectacular in that match, with those goals putting him in a contest with Erling Haaland for the Golden Boot race. They also got him the Premier League record for the earliest perfect hat-trick. Palmer scored his first goal in that match in the 13th minute with a spectacular left-footed finish. His second was a close-range header in the 18th minute. And his last was a right-footed chip over Jordan Pickford in the 29th minute. He then added the fourth, a penalty in the second half. There were 16 minutes and four seconds between Palmer's first and third goals against Everton, and with that he beat a record that had existed since before Palmer was even born. Before Palmer, that record belonged to Tommy Johnson, who scored with his left foot, right foot and head in the opening 38 minutes for Aston Villa against Wimbledon in February of 1995. So Palmer had gotten a taste of setting records in the 23-24 season and has now formed the habit of setting more. So what more records can he realistically set? Although he would later lose the race against Haaland, Palmer still matched an incredible record in Chelsea after scoring his 22nd goal in the Premier League against Brighton. This equaled Chelsea legend Frank Lampard's best ever scoring season for Chelsea in that 2009-10 title-winning campaign under Carlo Ancelotti. Apart from those goals, Palmer also made 11 assists, which put his total goal contributions to 33. That feat meant he surpassed Hazard's 31 goal contributions for Chelsea in the 2018-19 campaign, which, when broken down, was 16 goals and 15 assists. It would also make him to be the third player in the rankings for most goals and assists in Europe's top five leagues. He was only bettered by the incredible Harry Kane and the electric Kylian Mbappe. But what made him stand out was that it was Palmer's first full season of professional senior football. What a player. The question at the time was if Palmer would be able to to reproduce the same stats in the 24-25 season. With that question hanging around his neck, Palmer was called up to the England squad for the Euro 2024. His performance in the 23-24 season, which earned him the Premier League Young Player of the Season, made it impossible for the then England coach Gareth Southgate not to hand him a call-up. And then at the Euros, Palmer played mostly as a substitute and he was brilliant. He scored a flawless penalty kick for England during their quarter-final penalty shootout against Switzerland. In England's semi-final match against the Netherlands, Palmer assisted Ollie Watkins' match-winning goal with a delightful slicing through ball that cut through the Netherlands' defence. And then in the final against Spain, Palmer scored a goal and nearly assisted another. He is cold Palmer, as the fans call him, but he was a man on fire. At the Euros, Palmer showed he could do it on one of the biggest stages of football. But it wasn't surprising to fans who'd been following his progress 
since the start of the 23-24 season. After the Euros, he had a break and didn't join up with his Chelsea teammates at the same time. There were some concerns that missing out on training would prevent him from understanding the new way Chelsea would play. These fears seemed to be coming true when he started for Chelsea in their first match in the 24-25 season against Manchester City. He was rusty and struggled to fit in the new way Chelsea played, which focused on the team as a whole and not relying on him as an outlet. It was the first match, so it was too early to judge. Now, there were indeed scary hours ahead, but not for Palmer. He would be the man to cause terror. Maybe he's due for a change in nickname. What do you think? After another unimpressive display against Servette in the Conference League without Cole, Palmer needed to get involved as soon as he could. And that's what he did. Palmer immediately hit the ground running in the next Premier League match against Wolverhampton Wanderers. He had three assists in that game, which by themselves were great. And then Palmer went on to score a goal. But still, that wasn't all. He created two big chances, which was the most, and also had the most chances with four. So in that match, Palmer surpassed Haaland's then 36-goal involvement as he reached up to 37 goal involvements in the Premier League since the start of the 23-24 season. He was on another level in that match and maintained his form in Chelsea's subsequent matches before he went ahead to step it up against Brighton with a record-setting performance. Will he have more of those this season? Or was that a one-off? Those goals were decent, but the best one among them had to be the sensational free kick from 25 yards out that curled over the wall and into the net. With those four goals, Palmer is, as of the time of this recording, now leading Erling Haaland again in goal contributions since the beginning of the 23-24 season. Palmer has had 43 goal contributions in the Premier League since the start of the 23-24 season, more than any other player with 28 goals and 15 assists. Haaland has 42. So who will have the most among those two by the end of the 24-25 season? Palmer has now joined Premier League legends, Jermaine Defoe, Sergio Aguero and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, who have achieved this same feat before, but only in the second half. Now, there's more. He has also put his name down in the history books, along with some of Chelsea's greatest players. As of when this video was made, Palmer, in only 39 appearances, has now tied Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank, Didier Drogba and Frank Lampard for the same number of hat-tricks. Remember how Palmer has matched Lampard's highest goal-scoring record for Chelsea? Palmer has also matched another Lampard record. And Frank are now the only players with multiple four goal games for Chelsea, since Palmer also scored four against Everton in the 23-24 season, while Lampard scored four against Derby and against Aston Villa. In a way, those two are similar in their style. They're both high-volume chance creators and goal scorers. They also have a mentality of completely destroying opponents and outdoing themselves. Apart from that first half four goals record, Palmer is nearing another Premier League record. He is an incredible penalty scorer and scored his 10th penalty in a row in that match against Brighton. Now he's on course to beat Yaya Toure's record in the ranking of players who've scored the most penalties while maintaining a 100% conversion rate. He really is cold Palmer. After his first half goal scoring exploits in the Brighton game, Palmer, still bursting with energy, switched to another aspect of his game. He became a creator. He created two big chances and four chances. This is what's so scary about Palmer. He isn't only clinical in front of goal, but very good at creating chances for his teammates. He's like Kevin De Bruyne in this regard. Like KDB, Palmer can both score and assist. Palmer can play both centrally and on the wings, but he likes to stay around the right inside channel, which allows him to use his full range of passes and form a partnership with Chelsea striker Nicholas Jackson. De Bruyne, too, also uses the channels at Manchester City. 
With Pep allowing his fullbacks to invert, De Bruyne moves to the channels, where he can fully unleash his creativity. And in the last couple of years, it's been Erling Haaland who's been the biggest beneficiary of this. Since he got to Chelsea, Palmer has shown the ability to spot runners and give them the perfect pass. It could be a through ball or a pass over the defenders. He's quite the team player, but he's very much capable of carrying the team on his back, just like Eden Hazard used to do for Chelsea. And he has shown this aspect of his game many times for Chelsea. Palmer has even said he wants to be like Hazard for Chelsea. If I could play with one Chelsea icon, it would for sure be Eden Hazard. Our game is different, but I try to be as exciting as Hazard. Well, he's right about his game and Hazard's being different. Unlike Hazard, Palmer is a hard worker off the ball and continues to relentlessly press opponents, which is another thing he has in common with De Bruyne. Despite what Palmer has achieved for the team, he still remains humble and is even challenging himself to do better. With his talent, attitude and mentality, Palmer can dominate the league for years to come.